All right, so here's one of our star questions that we're gonna look at together. So first it says, Aiden asked a group of students to choose their favorite type of music from the choices of rock, hip hop, and country. The results of the survey are shown in the graph. So we have rock, hip hop, and country. And then the actual question is saying, based on the graph, how many students in a class of 360 would be expected to choose hip hop or rock as their favorite type of music? Okay. So first thing, when we have a bar graph like this, the first thing we always need to do is we need to label our bars. So for rock, I'm gonna go up and that is 20. So I have 20 people who like rock. I have 40 people who like hip hop. And then country would be 30. So after I label those bars, I need to find my total. And to find a total when I have three different groups, we know we need to add. So I need to take my 20, my 40 and my 30, add those together. Two plus four is six, plus three is nine. So I have a total of 90 people here, okay? So again, the question says, based on the graph, how many students in a class of 360 would be expected to choose hip hop or rock as their favorite type of music, okay? So first of all, I need to know how many people like hip hop or rock. So hip hop or rock, 40 and 20, that would be 60. So we know 60 people would choose hip hop or rock. And how many people were here together? All of these people out of that class, there was 60 and 90 total. So we know 60 out of 90 would choose hip hop or rock, okay? So again, our 60 is our hip hop and rock and our 90 is our total. And we've talked about that before. We know total always goes on the bottom of a fraction. The bottom number is always our total, okay? So we know 60 out of 90 would like hip hop or rock, but we wanna know if I did have 360, how many people would like that? So in this situation, I could set up a WKU proportion. So I'm gonna go ahead and set that up down here. And we know we have our WKU. So I'm gonna start with my words. We know we have hip hop and rock. I'm just gonna use H and R for short, okay? And then again, we know we have on the bottom, always on the bottom, we have our total. Total goes on the bottom. So we already have our known. We know that 60 people out of a total of 90 would choose hip hop or rock. So our 60 and our 90 goes here. But our unknown, it, do we know how many people would like hip hop or rock? No, that's what our question wants. They want to know what that is. But we know the total of the new class would be 360 students. So now that we have our proportion, we can solve it. And we know how to solve proportions. The first step we do is we take the numbers across from each other and we multiply. So I need to do 360 divide, times 60. So 360 times 60. And I'm gonna multiply through this zero. That would be zero and zero. Drop your zero. That would be zero, 36, 18, 19, 20, 21. Okay, so I have 21,600, but I'm not finished yet. I need to divide by 90. So I'm going to take my two 21,600 and I'm going to divide by 90. Okay, and we know if I have matching zeros, I can get rid of those to kind of help my numbers be a little bit smaller. So this could be thought of as 2,160 divided by nine. Put my spaces. I'm gonna go ahead and put my decimal. All right, so does nine go into two? No, it goes into 21 two times. That would be 18, subtract and I get three. Nine goes into 36, that would be nine times four, is 36, so it goes in four times, be 36. 
bring down that extra zero. Does nine go into zero? No. So that would be zero. All of our spaces are filled. I have 240, so that would be F. So again, when we see a table, make sure you label your bars, add them up, find your total, but that is only for this fraction. If it has another number, you're gonna have to set up that WKU.